Today I'm talking about my entire suite of email marketing tools that I use in 2024 and that I plan to use in the 2025 and beyond. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm making a video about this or what qualifies me to talk about it, I'm Trey Erickson, I own emailmarketing.com. We sold over $200 million for our clients just by sending emails about their products and services. So I have a lot of experience in warm email, recently got into cold email with close clients for myself, and everyone has an inbox. So with that being said, we'll get started. Now there's a couple caveats with this that I want to show you and explain because they're really, really important, okay? So first of all, I want you to understand that there's three areas to email marketing. Most people are completely unaware that these things exist, but they're important. Otherwise, you're going to use the wrong software and that completely ruins everything and wastes your money. And I don't want you to do that. So cold email is when you're emailing prospects who don't know who you are, Usually a lot of people buy a list uh, of people in a certain industry that they want to market their services to, right? That's cold email. If they don't know you, it's a cold approach, right? Dating, email, same thing. Cold approach, very difficult, and you need a lot of help. Then there's warm email. That's for people that have email lists of opt-ins, so like marketers, companies. Anytime you sign up on somebody's website and they email you, that's warm email because you've opted in and you know who they are. So it's a warm connection. And then lastly, there's regular email, just sending, you know, one-on-one -on -one to colleagues or friends, things like that. So we're going to divide those out so it all makes sense. Now, here's the other thing. I'll tell you a really quick story. There's a lot of people that ask me all the time about softwares and tech and which ESP should I use? If you don't know what that means, I'll tell you in a second. But they ask me all the time which software they should use. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It matters what you do. My friend Jan, he says it like this. Thinking that one software has better deliverability than another is like thinking that you're going to get stronger if you go to a specific gym, right? doesn't matter. Like you could go to Planet Fitness as bad as it is. And you can still get stronger. It's about the work that you put in. Email is no different, okay? Now, I'm going to give you my preferences. And with preferences, I mean, maybe it integrates better, or maybe I've been using it longer, or I think it's simpler for beginners to understand. So that's where it comes from. So the first thing that I want to talk about is cold email, because this is the one that everybody asked about. Like the majority of people, when they talk about email, especially marketers, are talking about cold email. Right. So when it comes to cold email, I also want to specify that I built my own software for this one. And by the way, all the links I mentioned today are going to be in the description. Mine is called the reverse cold email software. It works really well for coaches and consultants. Before I explain why it's better, let me talk about what most people use. Most people use instantly.ai. It's the most popular cold email platform. And don't get me wrong, it works. I know people that are doing very well with it. And it works very well for industries that are not coaching and consulting and also industries that are not like brick and mortar businesses. Those like brick and mortar is very difficult to make work on any platform. So if you're going to use instantly.ai, you're also going to need a bunch of other tools. So you need an email verification tool like Emailable. It's my favorite one. It's the most accurate. And you'll need a warming tool like Warm Up Inbox or Mailworm. Those are my two favorites. So make sure you're writing those down and you're getting the links from the description, okay? You also need to build the list. So a lot of times for that, you can build it right on instantly. And when you do that, you have to warm up those inboxes for a very long time, usually about two weeks. So that's why the warming tools are needed. And when you get your list from instantly, you have to go ahead and put it into uh, the verification tool emailable. So that's why it's very important. It takes a couple of weeks, but here's the thing. You can only send about 40 emails per inbox per day. So you have to get a ton of inboxes. And if you ever end up going to spam, it creates a headache, right? So though like cold email can work, it's just kind of a headache to get set up. Now, regardless of what tool you use to test your emails to make sure that they're not, they're probably not gonna go to spam because nobody can tell you for sure. Mailgenius.com, I may also own that one. Uh, if you go there, it shows you exactly what's wrong with your email. So if there's an email address on the screen, you copy it, you send a test email to it, it tells you if anything's wrong, okay? It's a really, really amazing tool that I acquired a couple of years ago. After you've done all that is when you can start cold emailing. Now, the reverse cold email system, this one's a little bit different because I've actually built a software where you can take any list of prospects that you can think of, right? So let's say you're somebody uh, who's a marketer and you're targeting people who use ClickFunnels. 
I can pull a list of every website in the world or in a specific country or a specific niche that uses ClickFunnels. And then what you can do with that is we'll put it into my software. The software goes and visits their website. Okay, so it visits their website and opts in for their email list. And it replies because when they send you an email for the first time, our software replies back to it with the pitch. So technically, we're not sending cold emails. So our deliverability is much better. We're just replying to emails that they send us. So that's why I call it reverse cold email. That link is below too. So that pretty much touches everything on cold email. I do want to give a shout out as well to inboxpro.io because it helps you separate your cold email inbox from your regular inbox from your warm email inbox, right? All those things can be separated and it just organizes your life a lot easier. And most people, when they make mistakes, have spam problems. And by the way, if somebody didn't opt in for your warm email list and you accidentally send them an email on that list, that's actually illegal. So inboxpro.io helps you prevent a lot of these little issues, right? Also, I think it's just great with the merging and tagging when it comes to your regular everyday inbox. And then for your normal inboxes, uh, Gmail, G Suite, Google Workspace, whatever you wanna call it these days, it's the best. Please don't use Outlook. It has all kinds of issues and funny things that go on. It's really hard to hit the inbox, whether you're receiving or sending, okay? Very difficult. So, highly recommend that. Google has a whole list of apps and suites and things that are included when you buy that subscription as well. Pro tip as well, when you sign up for Google Workspace, they put you on a, the medium plan, which most people don't actually need. I wanna say that one's like 12 or 14 bucks a month. Right after you sign up, you can just go to billing in your account and instantly downgrade and it's like seven bucks a month. And that adds up if you have a lot of emails in your organization, okay? So I'm just trying to save everybody a couple bucks here. As far as other organizational tools, I just do a really good job for free of categorizing the left side of my inbox, right? Where it has all the labels. So I make sure that anything that needs answered stays in my main inbox. And then as things are answered, like I can move them into the follow-up tab on the side of my screen, okay? So that's really, really important. And most people don't do that. And that's why they have 10,000 unread emails or more. So I know that if I follow up with somebody, they're in the follow-up folder. And I need to check that one or two times a week. And then all the other folders are like, you know, if I completed a project for a client or I can make one for each different offer I have in my business, or I can do really any number of things to organize my life, okay? So that's the whole side of the Gmail inbox. Please use it because it's free. Now for the last section here, I'm gonna talk about warm emails because this is where the real money is made, okay? Like you can do well sending personal emails or cold emails, but there's a reason that every big company sends so many emails, it's because they make money, okay? And I'll talk about that in another video because some people will ask like, does email marketing still work? It's important to note a few things here. As far as ESPs, so email service providers, so where you can send marketing blasts to thousands of people at a time, okay? These are really important. If you have an email list with, you know, like a thousand people or more, you need to be on one of these, okay? Otherwise you're gonna run into some major issues between sending volume, and like I said, it's not even legal a lot of times to not use one of these because what if somebody wants to unsubscribe? You can't unsubscribe them, right? You have to make sure you're following the laws. So I personally use Active Campaign to send my marketing emails. I've loved it for a long time. I still think they have the best automations and deliverability mix when it comes to email marketing. Now, I know I said earlier that the platform doesn't matter that much, but that's my preference. And they have pretty good IPs, right? Usually the more expensive a platform is, the better the quality of it is. But you can make it work on any platform. Like Maripost, for example, they're really expensive. They have pretty good automation too, but I wouldn't recommend them because I don't think you need to pay that much. But with Active Campaign, it integrates with pretty much everything. Even if you're using Zapier, which by the way, I absolutely love Zapier. It's like the glue of internet marketing. So definitely sign up for it if you haven't. But yeah, Active Campaign is absolutely wonderful. The only thing is though, it's getting worse as far as their pricing is concerned. They're starting to charge now based on how many emails you send. They're getting rid of some legacy features. And I'm like, hmm, don't know if I would highly recommend it anymore. 
So in that case, I really like Campaign Refiner. I actually know the owner, Travis, and he does a really good job of making email deliverability simple again. And I really think that he's, he's done an amazing job at it and he's getting really good at building automations too. So as far as setting up like SPF, Deacon, DMARC, which by the way, I made a whole nother video about, he does a pretty good job of helping you set that up. And a lot of people are moving to that platform that's getting better all the time. It's pretty cost effective. But if you want to be super cost effective, a lot of people are switching to go high level. Yes, I know I said go high level. So a lot of people, a lot of marketers don't like it because they say that email marketing is really bad. Here's what I say to that. If you're getting started, Go High Level is the best platform that you could possibly be on because it has everything in it. People used to say MailChimp. Please don't use MailChimp. It has so many issues. And that, like, just the fact that they let people on that platform for free tells you that their IPs are trashed, right? So like there's your domain, which you're responsible for. Your IP address is kind of like the neighborhood that you hang out in. And if you hang out in MailChimp's neighborhood, it's a bad neighborhood. So. A lot of people used to recommend them for beginners, but I'm recommending Go High Level because their deliverability is getting better. Their time to send, so like when you click send on an email that's going out to, you know, tens of thousands of people, it can take a little long sometimes. Those are my only two complaints. And also sometimes it's hard to track who's been engaging with your emails. And obviously that's important to know. Otherwise it's gonna be difficult to create segments of people who have engaged and keep your deliverability high. So with that being said, they have amazing automations. They have calendars, they have forms. So like I recently eliminated Calendly and Typeform just because of Go High Level. I eliminated my video hosting platform. They do almost everything and it's like $97 a month, something like that. So definitely use them if you're starting out, okay? Another one that's really good too um, is GlockApps.com. So if you go there, you'll be able to basically send a test email to like 80 something email addresses and it'll tell you if it hit the inbox or not for all of them. Pretty cool. But if you want something simple, like I said, mailgenius.com does the same thing. So some other tools and things that I use and some of these are somewhat email related, but I do want to share some cool ones in general that I use in my business too. Brand24, a lot of people ask about that one. That one allows you to monitor the entire internet. Anytime somebody types your name or your company name. Linktree, especially if you're on social media. Link in your bio, you can now have multiple choices. Just don't recommend having too many because if there's too many choices, people typically choose none of them. Podcast Hawk is one if you like to get on a lot of podcasts for your business to grow organically. Now, a few other ones as well that I like. Oh, Custom e-signature. That's one, I don't know if you've ever gotten an email from me. If you haven't, you should join my list in the description. And you'll see if you reply to one of my emails, maybe we're chatting personally in my inbox, which I do a lot, by the way. It's really cool because there's like this flashing email signature, okay? It's really amazing. And a lot of people ask me about it all the time. It's super professional, it's cool. Not a lot of people have it. It really helps you stand out. So that's another really awesome tool that people ask about all the time. And then if you notice too, like my profile picture and my emails, it flashes, that's actually free. So what I did, instead of having no picture or just a static picture like most people do, it's very boring. I went ahead and I made a GIF. I just Googled online GIF maker and it works super well. It basically dances its way into people's inboxes. So people love it. So those are some of the things that I recommend. Other things that you could do is I know that like ClickFunnels has like a Pro Tools version of it with extra add-ons. I think Go High Level does as well. There's one called uh, Curated Connector that works really well with Zapier too and Go High Level. Lots of masterminds that I've been a part of as well. And I have connections for pretty much every single type of business or question. So. If there was something that I might have missed when I was talking about this, go ahead and leave a comment. Tell us why you like it. So I'm super pumped to you know go over this with everyone and uh, hope you got a lot of value out of it. So with that being said, I'm Troy Erickson and talk to you soon.